Hello and welcome back. Today we have another installment of Project Mando. We have the return of the bee, Brady. I am... And today we're just gonna be focusing on mainly attaching the armor to, let's see if you can see it, attaching the armor to the vest and the soft parts because that's something I've never ever really seen, well not never ever, but very seldom see on Mando builds and stuff like that. People don't really tell you or explain how they attach their stuff to their stuff. So today we're gonna get into that. So a little side thing, I ordered us some dinner and Brady, Really, is it, we're, we're both, you would say, we're both pretty, pretty decent fans of Mr. Beast. He's just got some good content, he's got, he, this isn't sponsored, we're not trying to do this whole, whole thing, but I ordered us some food, I ordered us Mr. Beast Burger, and I want to capture Brady's reaction to trying the, what is it, the Beast Burger? Yeah, I got the Beast Burger. The Beast Burger, so we're going to try that right quick before we jump into this, we're going to get some food, because it's been a long day. So this is the Mr. Beast, or the Beast Style Burger, right here. Again, there's no food review, but let's let's get into it. I'm drooling. Get into it. I need to see this. Get into it. I need to say it. I need to say it. Oh, oh, sweet Jesus. Goodness. Mm. What do you think? Mm -hmm. You <laughs> you like it? Had a lot of good burgers in my life. This is top notch. Is this? Are you sure this isn't just the Mr. Beast getting to you? Oh yeah. Okay. This is delicious. <laughs> anyway, that was that. Let's do the armor. So here we already have my boba um, chest stuff. This isn't. The, I used. I did uh, use this vest as a practice run because this isn't the vest I'm actually going to be using. The vest I'm going to be using is coming in the mail. This one wasn't done right, and then the one before that wasn't done right either. So third time's a charm. We hope. Basically, what I did was I glued. I stuck. A piece because this is I want to hold this yes this is this velcro stuff it doesn't actually quite have tilted a little bit um it's industrial style velcro doesn't like it's just velcro like there's no name for it. it's just called velcro brand weirdly enough um, but anyway so that stuff is it has a sticky backing to it so you put it on the inside of here and I didn't have anyone to help mount it to me Things sit a lot differently on a on a on a table than they do on your body. Yeah. So I messed up on the collar piece and put one side in closer than the other side. Um, but basically, what I did is I put the put the the Velcro here and then I pressed it up against the vest and then I held my finger down on um, on the armor or on the Velcro and I peeled it off and uh, and just kind of. I don't know, so I put it on here, put it there, peeled it off, and then, you know, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's totally hard to explain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah totally, everyone gets it. Yeah, yeah. Everyone gets it. Yeah, yeah, completely, totally, yeah, fine. But it's a lot easier to do when you have two people, so that's probably what we'll do, be doing. Brady will have the armor on, and then we'll try to, we'll, like we have here, is we have, um... Probably follow the same method you did. The same method, yeah. But, so, the little thing different for Din is that he has the cape. So you gotta ha leave room for the cape, and we can't see under there how low down the um, flak vest goes at the, around the, by you know up there. So that's kind of what we're dealing with now. So um, yeah. Okay. So what are we doing? So what we're doing right now is. When you have this stuff on, it makes it a lot easier because it's going to form to your body. The way, when you're wearing it, it's going to form the way it's going to be worn and how you want it to. So what we're doing is where this seam is on my armor is just from the 3D printing. And so what I'm going to use it is a reference line. So basically from here, where this line is over, just up in the corner here, I'm going to put a, a piece of Velcro and that's going to keep this side attached. I'll do the same thing over here. I don't really have a reference line, but we also have rulers, so that'll work too. Then, a little bit lower, like down in this section, I'll put another piece of Velcro that the cape will actually attach to. I might even do it further in here. We'll just have to see how it kind of works out. And then from there, I'll probably put, leave, I honestly probably might only put Velcro pieces up toward the top and maybe mid. I'll leave this open so it can kind of flex when I'm wearing it. So that's kind of where we're sitting now. We're gonna go 
basically start doing it. All right, so it's actually been like a couple days. Um, we actually took a break because we wanted a full 24 hours for the glue to cure on the Mandalorian. So if you want to hold it up for us, yes. let him let him see. It's actually all attached now. It's all, we're gonna, in a second, Brady's gonna put it on and but we'll actually put on the whole flight suit and everything and then we'll see how it looks. It's not, not a full suit up, but you know, a little, little tease. Close enough. Anyway, so what we're gonna do now is finish his bicep um, and then, yeah. So it's about another day because we decided to wait 24 hours between doing process on whatnot and you know like letting the glue actually sit before putting the armor on and trying to see if it would sit right because if you didn't wait long enough it would just peel it off and it would all just basically be a giant waste of time. So we got that done. Here's how it ended up looking. Let me turn the lights on real quick. So here's how it looks. Um, if he really wanted to he could go back and put some super glue on there but whatever um, it looks looks pretty good but what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna have Brady gear up in all of his stuff and just test fit and see how things sit and how he likes it and then that should be it here we go oh gosh while Brady is getting ready down there I thought I would talk to you guys about my boba pistol if you can even see me here it is it's not the greatest job I I actually expected it to be um, sent completely finished, but I didn't read the Etsy description, and so it came as a kit, and I was going to film myself putting it all together, but there was so much super glue and stuff that had to deal with, that I had to deal with and whatnot, that it would have been a pain having to work with my camera. So yeah, that's, that's it. Brady, are you ready down there? Here it is. Brady. Strike a pose. <laughs> Brady, it's all put on. Let's, let's, uh, I think it looks so good, dude. Let's, let's go look. Here, let's go, let's go in the mirror. Let's, come under the mirror. Brady's walking real funny. Let's, I have yet to see this. Yeah, Brady hasn't seen how he looks in his, in the gear. Whoops. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can't see, but he's smiling under there like a goat. Yes. Does everything feel good? Everything feel all right? Yeah, everything feels great. Ready, deploy the whistling birds. Oh gosh dang it. Alright, well, that'll anything feel off? No, everything actually, feels everything good. Feels everything feels good. good. Alright, let me get a full profile. Turn to me. We'll have a couple more things with me that are on the way, but as far as this looks good, uh this has been a, this has been a this has been a journey. Dude, it has. This has been a journey. Well guys. Thank you for checking out this episode. If you liked your song, want to see more, follow me on Instagram at TS Cosplay. Follow Brady, Brady Moose, Valdez. Always remember, this is the way.